We are headed out at Lynnhaven Inlet today. We're gonna to run around the Cape to go off the Virginia Beach Oceanfront to try to catch some ribbon fish. Hopefully get on some red drum also, maybe some cobias. Alrighty, so we're out here right now off the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Trying to catch these ribbon fish or uh, cutlass fish. We're using the Rapala CD Mag 18s. Trolling them about four to two miles an hour. They're kind of schooled up right now at about 35 foot of water to 20. So you, is it just troll around till you find them. You get a couple hits, you slow it down. You want to put the plugs out about 10 seconds behind the boat. The main thing when you're catching these, you really need a D hooker. They got horrible teeth on them. You don't want to be anywhere near them. There's one right there, got one on already, but these are the D hookers we like to use. The longer ones that we got at Ocean's East. So right now these are the marks you really want. Looks like little, little streaks going up. That's a bunch of ribbons down there. Just like that, you ain't even gotta, you don't have to touch them. Just pop them right in the box. Crazy teeth on them. And all underneath here is like a razor blade. So that's why you really want to use that D hooker so you don't have to touch them. Tap, anytime you see the rods tap, usually we go up to them and we'll jig it. Just kind of slow it down like that. See, got one right there. Got one like that. Here you go, Don. <laughs> it's cool, it's fun like that. <laughs> Dude, they pile on, they pile on it. Right on cue, Robbie. Right on cue. Oh, there's one right behind you. Got one right in here. Got three. Got three on. You can jig it right now, Kenny. You'll catch one when you're jigging it. Oh, oh. And that's the thing when you're out here trolling for these, you can catch red drum, you can catch cobia, you can catch kings. The kings are out here eating them. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, I got you. The hooker saves, saves your hands. Tremendously. You got them? <laughs> they pile on it, don't they? Oh, it just came off. Oh, just jig it, it'll drop it back, it'll drop it back. Let a lot of line out. That felt strong. They hit. So what they're doing, when they're hitting it, they, they hit it so hard in the beginning because they're, they're faced up like that. So they're going up and they're shooting at it and they're dragging it right back down. Swim backwards, that's, oh. Oh, here, got one on this one. Yep, look, you just put that one out. Look, Don just put that one out, got another one on. You got one on that one? Let's see if we can't get a third one, or a fourth one, actually. You got another one? Oh, <laughs> God, where are these at? No, he's on there. Oh, you got one on, Don. Go around me. Perfect. Oh, God! <laughs> Look at that. Whoop. They just eat anything. That's why you can never go too big on a plug. Try to use the 18s. The smaller ones usually get bit off a lot. That's why we like to use the bigger ones. We're using 80 pound liters. A lot of people use 100 too. Put a snatch hole in front of that. And just put them out there. You can see the bite marks all in them already. This is a brand new one too. Oh, there's this one on this one too, I think. So that, you can see what's happening to these plugs. You'll have their teeth in them sometimes. I mean, they absolutely destroy these things. The, there's a tooth right there. See that tooth in there? See the other tooth? They're super, super aggressive fish. And they taste delicious. I mean, it tastes like flounder. It's amazing. Woo! You gotta watch that tail. Look at that. What's up, Cutlass? Crazy looking fish. All right, so we caught a bunch of ribbon fish today. We're headed back inside the Chesapeake Bay right now to hopefully get on some cobia, maybe some schools of red drum. Our goal is, though, to jig around the islands and hopefully get on some of the reds that are on the bottom. God. Right there at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Oh, 
forward, 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 hard. All right, you're good. All right, you're good, Don. It's a nice fish. Well, I'm trying to move all those rods out of his way. Moving, to, I'm Don. I'm gonna back up to it, so okay. you just keep cranking on him. Yeah, he hit it, dude. He he hit it. He hit it so hard. I saw the line just go. Oh, he, as soon as I put it right here, every fit, every eel is right here. It's a nice fish. Probably close to 48 inches. No, sir, I've not. Oh, I got another one. I've got another one right here. Right here, <laughs> Here. Oh, it just came off. Oh well. Yep. Crank, 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 crank. All right. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Oh, you see? It? Get him right here, Don. One more pump. Woo. That's a pretty fish, Don. Yeah, really good. All right. Look at the hook came right out. Right here, right here, right here. I can't, that's as much as I can do. So on the way into the bay, we actually ran across some uh, Kobe right there at the Cape. We got back on plane again and we ran across the school red drum. It got super hectic. Then we got a couple of those. Now we're running into the bay to go find some of the reds around the island. Look at the drum. Look at the drum. Look at the drum out here. Look at the drum. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. It's like late, super late afternoon. They just come up in the rocks, start blowing up. All right, it's the evening time now. The sun's starting to go down. Uh, these red drum have been showing up later in the day. We're dropping down some two ounce bucktails and everything, just bouncing them along the bottom. We're marking some of the fish right now. Hopefully we're gonna get on some of them. Honestly, if we just sit like this and, and drift, we'll probably catch them. Happy Garcia for life, boy. Remo. <laughs> <laughs> you are a glutton. You are a glutton because this is just punishment. <laughs> punishment. Well, see? Son. Son. This is our amber jack. Dude, he just took all of it back out. This is no AJ turned way different. Nice and easy, crank, 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 crank. I need another crank. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Gotta get in there. I want a fish on the snake. How was that? Kidding? I told you I get you a fish. I love you. Holy moly! What can fish rob do? Alright, flip them out. Finally got on, pulled a couple off. Just reds blowing up on crabs out here, boiling all over the place. We're marking them pretty good. Got Kenny on his first one. Woo! On a bass rod. Okay. Pretty cool. 
haven't seen that. But yeah, it's been a great day. Very long day, but we finally got on. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Mine's bigger than his, right? <laughs> Alright, we had a great day on the water. Uh, we were out here for 12 hours a day. It was a grind. We caught all sorts of stuff. We caught ribbon fish, we caught cobia, we caught red drum. Um, if you'd like to see more from Ocean's East, come subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out in stores. If you'd like to see more from me or book a trip, check me out at riverreleasesportfishing.com and follow my socials.